what is up youtube welcome to a very special friday fun day edition of get technical i'm your host neil hamilton with me as always is the young aaron Babri. with a soon to be fully developed frontal lobe <laughs> we set your at hey alexa Remind me in eight and a half months to get a new hat for Aaron Bree because his frontal lobe is done. Get you that frontal lobe hat. Your head goes up half a size when it's done. I don't know if you know that. I've heard. I'm not looking forward to it. going to have to get all new hats. <laughs> um, what is up, guys? What are we watching today? Um, for sure, I can tell you I was watching QQQ this morning. I was getting a little funky. I'm gonna, I gotta be real with you guys. I did not make a lot of money. I was just, just shaking it out, you know, I was shaking out my scalping. Um, so I was getting in there on the young 20 minute chart on QQQ. You can see my remains here. Let me get rid of this Fibonacci. I was on the 10 minute and I had the eight, uh, uh, eight segment exponential moving average and i should have stayed in this damn thing like i'm looking at this now like damn i have paper hands i'm such a paper hands little little baby um so i was trading the 10 minute candles buying in the money calls expiring today and i got down to i only had one call i was up like 40 percent on it something like that and i ended up closing at, at like 30 percent gain um, which wasn't a lot because the call was like a hundred something. So I only made like, you know, whatever, like 20 something bucks, 30 bucks, something new. Um, but damn it. That's what they say. I got shook out. I got shook out here on the QQQ day trade in those calls. Um, Should have stayed in. I got out. So I was looking at the 10 minute. I was also watching the five. Um, what freaked me out? There's something that happened this morning that freaked me out. I swear I saw what looked like a hanging man candle. I think it was just the formation of this red candle. As soon as I saw this this uh, candle forming, I got like freaked out. Or maybe it was a higher up one. I'm not sure. Um, but I got out real early. I had work to do. I, you guys, I just had I just had some open time where I wasn't doing zinging and zanging stuff. You know, on the inside of the zinger nation. Um, so I was getting out, getting my, uh, you know, shaking out a little day trading with the options. Um, success. I didn't lose money. It just wasn't huge. Wish I would have stayed in. Um, and again, guys, this is that Brad Weber um, options trading strategy. Very, very simple. Um, I'm going to turn it off. I've got two exponential moving averages, the 8 and the 21. When the when the 8 crosses above the 21, that's when Brad Weber is feeling good about getting in the money expiring this week call. Um, and I mean, sheesh. I would have come out all right. I mean, that's that's making on a single contract. I probably could have made like a hundred bucks on a half a percent move. You know what I mean? Nice, oh. Brian. Brian did the same thing. Way to go, Brian. Um, and look at it now. Like, God, I'm such a weenie. Um, so that was that was QQQ this morning with that that little scalpy action. Um, I was getting cute, getting cute, um, but didn't lose money. Um, but th speaking of that, so like we get this big ass when we're looking at QQQ, we got this big red on the on the 10 minute, this big drop. I mean, that's enough to shake anybody out, I think. I mean, to shake anyone that's not experienced and hardened by, uh, uh, you know, holding fast when it looks like it's going to go sideways, um, which is this guy. Um, I'm I'm not I need to. I need to take a week off. I need to take a week off from Benzinga and just day trade the whole time. Um, for what what day frame? So Williams asking, what time frame would you anchor those EMAs for day trading? I do it exactly the way that Brad Weber from Trading Grounds Live does it. Um, they are anchored to the ten minute. So I don't. I don't. So I got my EMAs here. I'll show you my settings. I don't change them. Um, they're not set. They're not. Uh, set to anything special actually they are i have them set to 10 minute so in this case these are only set for the 10 minute i use them on the 10 minute chart and actually yeah there's a reason i do that and it's because i i like a a uh 
like a little rabbit and my ears are twitching around I'm, and like while I'm watching my money go up I'm always afraid that I'm going to lose it so I'm going down to the five minute to the one minute and so forth um, and I want those exponential moving averages to stay the same to, to stay in the same spot for me um, but yeah like I said I got out like in a kind of a crappy area here made money not as much as I should have sheesh hey it um, happens it does it really does um but yeah, so so that was a little bit of a, a shakeout on my, that was my fault. Now I want to look at SXC, which is uh, Sun Coke Energy. So this is um, the big old swing trade um, that we've been talking about since Monday. Um, I'm gonna turn off. Uh, I'm turning off my uh, eight and twenty one exponential moving averages on the ten minute, and then I'm turning on the Leduc one week um, ten. 10 week moving average all right and we're looking at the monthly chart right now um i'm also going to get that young 65 on here so this is 65 for any period i actually have it on why is it not appearing oh because the whole thing's off um and this is that the andy cole mighty soldiers trades uh uh 65 moving average um and you can see man like like it, it wasn't that long ago where the body was stuck right at the 65 um but just talking about getting shook out i switch over to the daily because that's what we do. You guys know that I, I started scaling in uh, yesterday or the day before, something like that. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday because it was a confirmed breakout here. Um, and you can see that we got some selling behavior. This thing is acting up, um, but is holding this, this kind of sloping line that was previously resistance, just anchored on these two candle highs, these two wick highs um uh on the daily um it's holding it um this is the kind of thing where i wonder like is this is this a stop hunting guys give me a one in chat if you know what it means what what, a, what stop hunting is give me a two if you've never heard of that phrase i'm giving you a two all right a b just give me a two checking in on the dog with two pay I've got a chart I'd like to look at too of one of my favorite stocks. All right, one sec, one sec. After XXC. Um, okay, so twos. Okay, Cameron knows what's up. Um, okay, so this is a real thing that actually happens. It's not conspiracy theory stuff. Um, this is uh, stop hunting, stop loss hunting. Um, so let me go back to SXC. I'm not, I, I don't know that this is exactly what happened here, but very well could be. Um, so what you get is you've got your retail traders. That's you and me. And then you've got your institutions. This is the Empire State Building. <laughs> this is institutions. Um, and if if the retail traders own a bunch of a stock, they say, I like it at this price. Maybe I like this stock at 772. I like it all the way down to I like it all the way down to about 750. But if it drops below 750, I'm out. Um, because I expect it to go up. The the institutions need liquidity. And they, in order to create liquidity in the market, they need to push out all of those retailers, those retail traders, so they can grab their shares. So to create liquidity, what they'll do is sell all of the shares that they have to push that price down. All right? So you've got... They know that there are key psychological levels, like round numbers, $7, $6.50, $6.25, and they know that if they're pushing the price down to those key levels, it's going to trigger stop losses across the board and create liquidity for uh, them to go in and buy all that stuff up and, and rocket the stock up. Um, so they push it down. Another thing is that a lot of them are probably selling calls. Um, they're making their business by selling calls, um, so they're pushing that price down. Um, <laughs> okay, so we th we nonstop ideas from this man. Uh, uh, auto trading with Benzinga, where our stops are kept secret within Pro until they are active activated. I like that, like a black box that's outside of your brokerage. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, all right, guys. So, so there you go. Stop hunting is a real thing, um, and so that's when you're when you're when you're setting your stop losses and you're looking at like a big entry. Like this thing is, like I'm I'm the long on this 
is shooting for right now it's at 746. It's shooting for 13. Like I'm shooting for like almost doubling this one. Um so and, and plus it's not that well known. So so institutions seeking liquidity on a stock like this in an industry that is showing strength is not out of the question. Um so what I want to do is not get totally stopped out. Like, you know, like I'm not going to set a hard stop loss. This is one of those situations where, um, uh, uh, what's what, uh, Sylvia Bellrock. I don't know if I forgot her name. Sylvia, the, the glorious Sylvia Bellrock um, talks about using mental stop losses. While in this market, we don't necessarily want to do that. Um, but since I'm scaling in a little bit at a time, I'll do a little bit of a looser stop loss, um, especially now that I know that there might be some uh, stop hunting going on here. Uh, once again, this is the retail investor. This is the Empire State Building. <laughs> hmm. um, yeah, was that was that was that helpful, producer AB? Did that make sense? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, okay, what chart did you want to look at, AB? One of my all-time favorite stocks full disclosure it's in my long-term portfolio victoria's secret they are owned by who's victoria's secret owned by a creepy old man nvidia n as in neil v as in vendetta vendetta d as in detta <laughs> and a as in aaron nvidia Let's go. Most expensive options on the planet. Woo! Sheesh! Why is it going up like this? Oh, wait. Why is it shooting up? Was there news in pro? We. I talked to my man, Randy. I said, hey, Randy, what's the news on my favorite stock in video? And he said, continued strength off strong earnings. But I think that smells fishy to me. I think there's something else going on. Maybe some long calls are going on. So let's let's do some stuff. We got Nvidia up here, and yeah, yeah, we're getting dirty, guys. We're looking at the the fundamentals, all right. Um, so we got Nvidia right here. Um, we do have our why is it moving up on Benzinga Pro, um, but now let's check for some options activity. So I'm going to open up my scanner. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right one. There's so many new features in Pro, like I need to use it more. Um, I think this is you, not the one. That was just. That's I think just if you go to signals and yeah, then you go signals. to uh, option activity. Filter security. We'll search. You can search. VDA. Okay, so now we're looking at just options activity, unusual options Jeez, activity for it's NVIDIA. It's a lot of calls. Um, Not a lot of puts. Yeah, but there's more to it. Dude, I, I suck so bad at reading this stuff. Uh, it, <laughs> uh, it's in correlation with the rest of, of the semiconductors. But I think it's up more. Like if we go to AMD's chart, I think it's up more than AMD is. So um, let's let's do another thing here. So check this out. We got Nvidia, but AMD, yeah, AMD is not quite because AMD is mostly just processors. It's slightly slightly different, but yeah, it is really the same thing. Um, video cards are also just using processors. There's different. Um, so we, we can look at socks or one of the. So yeah, ETFs. we can look at nice man, nice. So so what I want to do now is just show guys. I, I'm I'm trying to shill here, Aaron. I'm trying to shill. All right, guys, check out Benzinga Pro. Uh, uh, we can go to the peer section and we can find similar companies that might be having sympathy plays, and very easily um, we can see a lot of those. We don't have the ETFs though. We I, we should talk to the the dev team about getting that. I'll set up a meeting for us in the dev team. Yeah, make make put it in the executive boardroom. Okay. All right. Um, Who so should we have cater the meeting? <laughs> yeah, get some get some bagels, bagels and donuts, bagels. I I had a girlfriend that would not get off my ass about the way that I say bagel, bagel, bagel. Guys, guys, give me a one in chat if I'm saying this in a way that is pleasing to the ear, or if I'm saying it in a way that is displeasing to the ear. Bagel. Um, what are you saying? Bagel? I went. I I my favorite condiment on a bagel is cream cheese and butter because i'm a nasty boy i do that too Bagel. it's so unhealthy but it's so good <laughs> it's the best <laughs> um <clears throat> large blocks of calls near or at the ask is buying with urgency so that's how you're buying that oh man guys did <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your girlfriend was on to something. Maybe, is that why y'all aren't together anymore? 
It was a big part of it. Yeah, it was a big problem. I can imagine. She got the cat. Um, all right. So let's get back over to NVIDIA. Um, yeah, semiconductors. Let's look at SOX, baby. Semiconductors, not socks that you wear on your feet. Wait, where'd my volume go? Guys, there's no volume on, on socks for uh -oh. some reason. Should we add that to the dev meeting? <laughs> no, this is, you'll have to talk to uh, Pierce Crosby about this one. <laughs> of Trading View or? Yeah, Trading View. Pierce Crosby, he's the, like the, I don't know what his title is, but he's the, the big head honcho over there. Um, How do you sit bagel? Whatever, dude. All right, semiconductors popping off. No surprise there. We've been talking about it for a while. One interesting thing here is if, guys, look at this beautiful trend that we had. Who knows? Who knows? It would be just absolutely lovely if we can get some damn momentum back in this market and ride the Leduc 10-week moving average along with the Andy Cole 65 EMA. Um, yeah, nice moves here. Nice moves. Not getting too overbought. Don't know why my volume's not here. Maybe I just don't have volume as an indicator. Let's see. Volume. Okay, we're not doing volume on good technical today. Bagel. Bagel. Yeah, okay, so okay, you guys are making money on NVIDIA options. Way to go. The how much do they cost? They're so expensive. Bro, I was looking at like like a couple months ago when NVIDIA was like below 500. I was looking at like a year and a half out eight hundred dollar or no, like seven fifty call. That was like two grand. And I was like, I might throw all my money into this. And I didn't, because <laughs> I was like literally it would have been all my money. You and should've. I didn't, and I should have. Guys, wait, I <laughs> All of this, like waiting for patterns to confirm and stuff like that, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm YOLOing all of my money from now on. Every time I get a whiff of something that seems like a good idea, all of my freaking Benzinga bucks are going into it. I'm doing, I'm doing, what is that? AMC calls. The next, whatever the next coin is, that one coin that's trending on Twitter, Clue Coin. Have you guys seen that? Give me a one if you've seen Clue Coin on Twitter. Give me a two if you haven't. They like when you sign up to like get it or something like that. Like you have to tweet hashtag Clue Coin, so they're like building in trending on Twitter into like their their tokenomics. I'm going. I'm buying all of that. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. And just 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 for. Uh, to remind you guys this is for entertainment and educational purposes only <laughs> should not be taking a trading advice past performance is not indicative of, of future results um all right what you guys looking at what you guys looking at get shiba no shiba is like in the the shitter isn't it i mean tsm is beautiful so whoever got calls on tsm way to be you're a champion of the light um oh yeah it's just hit resistance from right over here right at that level from may 21st good spot in my humble opinion to be selling but i mean guys what do you think give me a one if you think semis are gonna keep running give me a two if you think they're gonna lose this little short-term momentum We got a lot of ones in the chat. A lot of believers. Is a lot believe. of believers. Okay. Okay, let's do this. We're making a brand new... I don't have a sector ETF for semis. Because I'm just... I'm slow, guys. My frontal lobe just finished developing. So let's get... Create a new I list. SOXX. What? No, he, I, someone else said they bought TSM calls, so I put it up. Um... Guys, give me your, your your favorite names in semiconductors. Make a, a get technical watch list. We could do the uh, 
SOXL is the direction weighted three times semiconductor bowl. Leverage, all right. Is there a difference between weighted and leveraged? Weighted is how they distribute distribute the assets effect, like the underlying assets effect on the uh, ETF. Um, a Matt, let's go. Keep them coming. L R C X. Whoa, L R C X. Let's go. Uh, NVDA, of course. Intel, UMC, TSMC, AMD. I'll get Qcom. Oh, oh okay. So XSD, yeah, that is the semiconductor. Uh, Micron, AMD. I got ASML. I think we got. I always think of ASMR when I when I hear that one. We could do an ASMR episode to get technical. Um, guys, give, give us a give us a one if you want uh, an ASMR episode of Get Technical, where Aaron, Bree, and I are are just. We both whispering, have the lights off. <laughs> whispering in the mic the whole time. Yeah, and we like chew gum and and talk into the microphone all weird. Sasha wishes that all men would tell us that about their frontal lobes. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on my uh, on my Bumble profile. Frontal lobe fully developed. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, Wait, what did she say that she wishes you would, that you said yours isn't full? Oh, yours was just recently fully developed. Yeah, yeah. It's a little uh, playful, playful gender wars there. Bitcoin down, BTC USD. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, YouTube. Remember, JC Pretz was on the show yesterday saying, I don't like it until it gets up to 47, he said. So this is actually should be a little bit higher here. Uh, you can double click these lines. You can change the coordinate to uh, 47,000. That's where JC Peretz wants it. So we'll put a little thing here. We'll say JC Peretz wants BTC to be here before he gets long. There you go, guys. Um, I, hey, I drew this thing out. It still hasn't touched my green line yet. I I, I told one of the guys I work with. I told one. Actually, I told one of the Mooner bus guys. This looks like a bull trap to me. You ziggy zag up. You ziggy zag down, baby. Don't tell anyone outside of this video that I said that because that will come off as FUD, which is fear, uncertainty, and I forgot what the last one stands for. Doubt. Uh, what is it? I said doubt, but and doubt, fear, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, um, and all the 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 crypto bears um, will come after me. Dog with a two pace saying it's bearish. So if dog with a two pace says it's bearish, the dog knows. The two pay gives the dog the powers to know. The dog knows. I'm look at Nvidia again. You know why? Why what? it's bull and bear? Yeah, I think everyone knows that. <laughs> really not? Right? I wouldn't be asking right now. Oh, you don't know why? Yeah. So it's. I mean. So. Okay, guys. Welcome to Intro to Stock Market with Neil Hamilton. Um. So, if you're standing, say you're say you're wearing a, a red T-shirt and you're 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 with a bunch of clowns and you're at a rodeo. And they open the gate and the bull's about to come out. And the bull is attacking the clowns. What way do the <laughs> clowns go when they get attacked by a bull? Up. That's right, because the bull does. What does he do with the bull? What does the bull do with his head? Put, put your fingers up like this. What's the bull doing? That's exactly right. And the, and so they, they push that shit up. Now, okay, let's say uh, uh, you're, you're hungry. And you're out at Kensington National Park, which is... Uh, uh, well, not National Park. It was one of the little parks we have here in Michigan. Um, this is the weird song. Hold on one sec. This is the one with the baby voice and the gunshot. <laughs> I, don't, and I don't like that oh one. Oh, my God. Um, you're you're getting some honey, and then you hear a grumbling, and a big mama bear comes out, and she's on her, her hind legs. First, you think it's Spencer Israel, but it's actually a mama bear. 
um, and it's coming out at you, and it's got its paws like this. How's, how are the paws going to hit you? Pretend you're the bear doing the attack. Pow! Yeah, they're going to drag that shit down. They're going to bring you down to the ground, like Leo. Like Leo in um, that fantastic movie. I forgot what it was called. Revenant. Revenant, yeah. Great movie. Um, yeah, so it's just... That's that's all it means. Is the bulls are are, are hoisting up prices and the bears are uh, smacking down prices. So who wins in a fight, a grizzly bear or a silverback gorilla? Let us know in chat. Silverback gorilla one, grizzly bear two. Okay, okay, you want some hopium? Yeah, you're in the wrong place for hopium, dude. <laughs> uh, so we're looking at Wolf. I drew a red line here for some reason. At some point. Wait, you said you, one was... They're saying the gorilla. gorilla? There's no way. Like gorilla the bear, bear is, like, way bigger. The claws of a... I don't think a gorilla is really equipped to... Like, a, a, bear, a bear would be able to lacerate... Right. Between lacerations. Wait, guys, the bear's number two. Yeah. You uh, just think, uh, what a silverback gorilla can beat a grizzly bear in a fight? I'm sh I'm sh I'm <laughs> Dude, shocked what? by that. I, I don't. Unless the logic is I, that, unless the logic is that, like a silver a silverback gorilla has opposable thumbs, so it can get a weapon of some sort. I don't understand. Yeah, is it because it's smarter? I don't know. Silverback is way stronger. Yeah, but what? I mean, it doesn't know how to do jujitsu. Guys, it's not going to put it. It doesn't know how to do a full Nelson. You think it's going to punch it out? We're also not talking about a King Kong size gorilla. We're just talking about a normal silverback versus a normal grizzly bear. I, I'm like, I'm legitimately disappointed in you guys right now. <laughs> like, I'm overwhelmingly let down by by this 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 stuff the, don't it, this is the only argument that i see so we got <laughs> gorillas are really strong <laughs> grizzly bears aren't weak <laughs> the gorilla the gorilla is smarter <laughs> i mean it depends on which gorilla you get d'angelo it's okay it's okay Dude, yeah i've seen king kong guys imagine uh, guys <sighs> if there was a king kong sized grizzly bear you think King Kong is... I mean, I, I don't want to talk shit about King Kong because I know there's like people that are devotees, weirdos, posters up. You're, I, I don't want to offend anyone that has a velvet painting of uh, King Kong up in their their trailer in the desert in Nevada. Um, look, man. Um, hopium for Wolf. I, I'm not going to be able to give it to you. Um, I think it's, it's breaking down past the level of support. Um... You know, not super great. It's below here. Hold on, let's go to the daily. It's just not doing what you want it to do, baby. It's just not doing what you want it to do. You're probably wanting a bounce here. Um, and I would just say, man, today, if this candle was green and it looked a lot like this, maybe if it was more of a um I don't even know what it's called, but like an upside down hammer, like one of these guys, then I'd be looking for a bar. Um, going up after that um, not looking great to me but it is mostly holding you know these markets are organic you know I probably say that ad, ad nauseum but um, nothing it's not looking good now something else needs to happen that's what I would say to that you know but absolutely if you're bag holding on this and you have been for a long time don't wait around um, I I had to say goodbye to XHB the other day because I, you know what, I, I, this is the influence that that JC Perez has on, on me is that you know he's basically said it, home builders looking weak. I ended up exiting my home builders position, um, so whatever. Um, all right, guys, bear can fit the whole gorilla. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The gorilla has like built-in weapons that, or no, the, the bear has built-in weapons the gorilla does not have. Wait, is this person or Andre saying a significant size advantage? Isn't a, a bear is much bigger than a? I mean, gorillas are ripped. They are. Guys, this is Friday Fun Day. Silverback gorilla. 
I mean, let's do this the right way. This is getting starting to get way out of hand. Yeah, you see All that right. power pose? That's a lot of just muscle mass right in there. I'm afraid that we're gonna see a gorilla penis, and it's gonna <laughs> get our term. No, we got safe. We got safe. Just hurt, on. Okay, good, good, good. All right. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it. Gorilla pee pee. Um, all right. And then, oh, look at that. Oh, no, that's a fake one. Um, okay, so here's the thing about gorillas. Here's the thing about gorillas. The hair, and I feel like this is the same thing for me. I'm a hairy guy. The hair covers up a lot of the definition in the, in my, in the gorilla's muscles. We're not talking about me. We're talking about the gorilla. And, and so you don't really get to see that like rippedness and like the veins, the vasc vascularity um, that these guys have. Um, but also, I mean, I think a lot of you guys that were ones on this were swayed by this this attitude shit. And I think that this has really been pushed by the Hollywood elite um, in, in properties like King Kong. But let's get real. Let's take a little look here. Grizzly bear. Get a close up of the claws. We need oh, hold to look. Wait, look at look at what just came up. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Are they, is Google listening to us? It's just going off in my two searches. It's just, this just goes to show how much time people spend figuring out what animal would beat another animal. Like this is an actual thing that humans are very interested in. I've done this. I've done like wasp versus spider and shit. Like that. <laughs> okay, let's just see what comes up. 10 times out of <laughs> Holy shit, grizzlies have been clocked at speeds of 35 miles an hour. Imagine one of those things running at you at 35 miles an hour. Grizzlies terrify me. If I was locked in a pit with a with a gorilla i'd feel like there was a chance that it would just cradle me and try to feed me a banana with a grizzly bear i'm 100 percent. i'm blacked out tunnel vision fight or flight i'm f i'm freaked i think i would just go fetal position against the grizzly and i don't uh, dude there's no there's no like with with a with a gorilla um you just uh you just you just distract it with like fun puzzles. You get like like pop up books and stuff like that, and it'll be like, you know, get distracted and want to play with the the toys. Grizzly bear, there's nothing you can do unless you have a frying pan and you do the that thing. Guys, we're not doing armed with a machete. That's stupid. <laughs> we're not giving weapons to animals. That's dumb. What if the bear is why would you bind blindfold a bear? That's cruel. So we blindfold the bear and <laughs> just get put an angry gorilla in the same pit. You guys, it doesn't matter. Ten times out of a ten is a hundred a hundred percent win rate um uh, with grizzly bears against silverback gorillas um coming from from that uh, guy. Yeah, like obviously the <laughs> He looks like he would know. I think I think a lot of you guys maybe could could you guys should read more. You guys need to read more. Um, this is this is a. I, like, I mean, this this face says a lot to me. Like, what is that emotion? There's so much so much going on in his big weird head. It looks like that's a, that's a frontal lobe for you, buddy. Yeah. All right. Anyways, XHB. I'm out of it. Um, what else do we like? We like energy. Oh oh oh. So let's let's look at X again for our dog with the toupee. Mean looking bounce, baby. Look at that gap, son. Gap on gap. This is exciting. Whoa. X United States Steel Corp is jumping on a trampoline. Um, so let's get this out of the way. And just for just to placate my boomer side, I'm getting the 50. Let me check the 20 day. I will just use the Bollinger for that. Holding the twenty day, oh, it's beautiful how it's holding that. Um, so yeah, I mean, very easily target the upper standard deviation on X for an eight and a half percent gain, eight point six. Um, but then, of course, you're going to run into the previous 
like recent highs, 52 week high, I think. Um, do the fib thing because we like to use the fib and natch on this show. You can see that's that's about lining up with that standard div. Um, but yeah, X, give me a one in chat if you've been trading X. Okay, uh, Andre, we're done with we're done with the gorilla thing. The yeah, this, is a, this is a stock show. We stick to stocks here. Stocks. I don't think that's real. <laughs> the lighting seems off. <laughs> Wait, crocodile. Wait, <laughs> gorilla versus crocodile. Baboon f fights one like the gods. <laughs> That's a great YouTube title. It's a ten out of ten. You make sure you get some of these animals into the YouTube video for us. Okay. It's only way we're going to get those clicks. Dude, I'm so glad. I do not want to see the mom. Oh. Oh. Some retribution. Oh, wow. <laughs> that got graphic quick. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I know we started it, Ron. Sorry. That was the joke. <laughs> Mongoose and snake. Well, you know the mongoose wins against the snake. They're natural uh, arch enemies. The mongoose like exists to kill snakes. Just clap snakes. Hundred shares of axe and we'll get called away today. One hundred shares of axe will get called away today. That was some bad Photoshop. Yep. Back to stocks. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, even the animal guy is like wants us to get back to stocks. <laughs> That's how you know we spent too much time on the, on the zoology section of, of Friday Fun Day. Uh, thank you. No, um, what's up? I was gonna see if there are any good uh, like zoology stocks we can invest in. Any publicly traded zoos out there? Well, not necessarily zoos, but just related. I guess we were looking at Wolf earlier, but uh, yeah, the, let's look at animal themed stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, Wolf, Wolf, I, I've already said my piece on. I think Wolf has a lot of short interest, though. Is that part of your piece? Short squeezes. There's a lot of short squeezes. Work. It's all the rage nowadays. Short, short, short squeeze. I think it's about to get a short squeeze. S T I K is animal themed. He's just saying that to get it out there. Oh. <laughs> he Finance, got me. Financial conglomerate. Damn! Nice stock, buddy. <laughs> On the day chart. This thing is fucking freaking wild. Friday fun day, guys. Um, Ooh, Fox F. I think that was the one that I brought up the other day. That was um, they make bike parts, suspensions for mountain bikes and whatnot. I mean, oh, that's a good area to be in, yeah. Apparently there's a bike shortage right now. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Are you Why? aware? No, I didn't know that. They're, they're short of metal? Why, why would there be a bike shortage? It's like a shortage uh, of, why, is it because of the ever the, the Everclear ship? Evergreen? The no, it wasn't the Evergreen. It was ship, like, was it the, the Evergreen? The ship that got stuck? What was it? The ever ship that got <laughs> stuck. U.S. Canal. It was the ever something else, wasn't it? Ever pine? Ever. Oh, evergreen? Wait. <laughs> That's what okay, I said. Well, it's freaking evergreen. Whatever. Um, bark box. Um, oh, look at this. Yes. Infinity said Trek Giant literally are giving me, literally are giving me November delivery dates for bikes. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it was just like one of those COVID supply and demand things. So let's check it out. I'm more of a specialized guy. Ooh. I, I want to get the new model of the LA. Fancy. Man of taste over here. Gentleman of culture. Um, 
Okay, let's get the Benzinga orange here. How do I? Can I buy it? Whoa! Everything is sold out. Uh, yeah. There's a bike shortage. <laughs> there sure is. Wow. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get back in shape. No one wants to buy a stupid Peloton. Uh, we don't want to hit C's. <laughs> I did not know the stock existed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Wait, why is it fifty-five dollars a share? That seems very high for. Uh... I cannot. I cannot invest in Sea World until it gets into a more solid trend. I mean, here's how I'm looking at this this thing. Tell me if you if you're with me. Let me get an amen if you if if you hear me. Um, is I'm doing one of these. Looking at some of some of this. Some of this action. All right. You know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, one saying. amen. Yeah, some more amens for that cup and handle that might be forming here with SeaWorld, one of the most corrupt organizations on the planet. Not necessarily saying much. Um, also just like a plain out nice little like bounce off of this area. I mean, that's it's kind of aft, but SeaWorld looks like it might be about to pop off. <laughs> Okay, I wonder if we go if we can pull up the max chart, see like right when that what was that documentary called about Sea World? Sea Sp or no, the one before that? Black B Blackfish? Yeah. I bet the stock got hit after that documentary. I'm sure. Blackfish release date Netflix. 2013. Was it oh like on the Wiki Wikipedia page? They they never lead me astray. Netflix isn't even on here. Let's see the release date, January nineteenth, two thousand. Oh, that's when it was at Sundance. Okay, so we'll just look. Let's just look around January nineteenth, two thousand thirteen. Man, is that long ago? I'm old. Um, so SeaWorld. Wait, they like went public like right after the movie <laughs> premiered. No wait, I think you can see it right there though. Go back. Yeah, to I mean, after their IPO, we're looking at the daily. So they, they uh, IPO, they have a couple good weeks, and then they they shit the bed. But uh. It's yeah, they it. IPO'd after. Wait, no, fourteen. Wait, I'm just stupid. Sorry. I mean, this very well could be it. I don't know. Do you think this was it? Uh, Do you yeah, think this gap down is when it press. was on Netflix? Yeah, when like it got really hot on Netflix, that's got to be it. But it looks like it's Black just. Fish? A... I thought. I thought we were talking about Free Willy. Oh, Free Willy. That's a great movie. Where I like, I like how we created divisiveness over Sea World. <laughs> Wait, does it, what, is it saying the stock's trading at nineteen dollars? I thought it was just trading at. So um, is it, yes. this is it just shows where oh, uh, like for this right right candle is. So I mean, yeah, if you bought it back here in twenty fifteen and held on, you're looking at over almost two hundred percent gain. Not too shabby. Whoa, what is that from? That's that? out of that's out of COVID. <laughs> that's like every like COVID's done. Let's vaccines to, exist let's go to sea world get in the van get in the freaking van that we're going to sea world <laughs> uh, anyways i think it, that could be a cup and handle for me on sea world of course for that really to be a cup with handle <clears throat> we'll want to see a little more downward action um and then what you're going to be watching for is the break above that downward action and then you'll be targeting the right cup or the right pivot which is this this level and then you'll be targeting the left cup and then after that what's perfect for cup with handles is the fibonacci um extension not the fibonacci retracement but the fibonacci extension um which is kind of hard to draw here but i'm just gonna go ahead and use this level so you anchor it at the the previous low before the impulsive move that led into your cup and then uh, and then anchor it on the left cup, which is where that pivot turned into a downtrend. And this is a total cup with handle because it's so red on the left, or green on the right. It's pretty textbook stuff. But I, I'm pretty confident saying. Um, and yeah, not a huge gain. So you would say 
you know, targeting um, about 5877 on uh, good old SeaWorld, guys. Get the kids in the van. Yeah, I know, I know. So doc documentaries take a little narrative license um, that that heavily uh, that 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 heavily put in the filmmaker's opinion for sure. So they're 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 made to convince people of things. Um, is cup and handle even real? Are you real? Am I real? Um, okay, what other stocks are we looking at, guys? We've got our we've got our mean looking list of KOPN is just a beast, dude. Um, it's at a nice little level with a lot of growth, and it's getting stopped right here at this at the the Leduc. Getting stopped on the Leduc line here. Um, but we can put this, we can put some lines in here, guys. This is like, there we go. Just rinse and repeat how many times we were doing this exact same uh, resistance line on this exact same pattern. Benzinga has been showing charts every day for how many years? I don't know. I just work here. <laughs> Hog. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Boomer stock, baby. Harley. Dude, okay, so so okay, poll in chat. Poll in chat. Do you think anyone under the age of okay, okay, no, how do I want to do this? No, I don't want to use extremes. I don't want to appeal to extremes uh here. Um do you think that Harley Davidsons are considered cool as cool as they were considered by previous generations for people that are 40 and under? Give me a one if you think for the 40 and under crowd thinks that the hogs are cool. They want to get a hog that's all loud and they want to wear the bandana with the skulls on it. Give me a two if it's more. Nah, man. I don't want to pull up to Starbucks on my loud ass Harley. Um, Producer AB feeling a little uncomfortable because he did drive a Harley Davidson to work today. It's better for parking. <laughs> Wait, I forgot what one and two is. Yeah, laugh aloud hog. Okay, two's two's uh, bearish on hog. Um, yeah, I think, dude. I honestly think they need to rebrand. I think th I think they one they need a, uh, an electric bike that looks like it's from an anime, and two they need to rebrand away from that um, uh, basically easy rider. Sla easy rider slash like boomer biker club uh aesthetic for their brand yeah it, dude i mean look how ab is dressed right now it's incredible it's versatile yeah it's, it's today got chilly or last night got chilly i'm not used i'm a little southern boy from missouri I'm not used to the heat or the cold up here in detroit Yeah, they have an electric bike. All right. Well, let's see. Let's let's do the test. Let's do the test. We'll test it. We got a zoomer and a and a millennial here. Or wait, are you a young millennial or a zoomer? Well, you were born in ninety six, right? Sure, let's go with that. No, okay. So you were born in like ninety four. No, ninety seven. Oh my god. All right, <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. So you're a zoomer for sure. I think ninety six is the cutoff uh, for millennials. Some people no. Some I mean yeah. I, it's all different. Some things say until ninety seven is millennials, but. I don't think there's one like who decides that it's like a committee um i don't know no cameron you're right I, i'm in st louis in missouri and it's very much similar weather to detroit but i don't think it says chili in stl what do you think about this aesthetic i i, I like it i think they're cooler bikes though um, I think they're for sure cooler bikes I mean, are motorcycles even popular with younger people? Dude, I, I don't think know. motorcycles are out of favor. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I know one person like my age that drives a bike. 
doing Statista. I have a couple buddies that that have bikes, but they're like nauseatingly hipsters. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But they probably got like old, like you know, like they don't like, have Harleys, like, like Craigslist Enduros. Right? They don't have they don't have Harleys. They have like little, not Vespas. They no, they're not scooters, but little. Uh, I don't even know what the actual bikes are called. Um, I mean, bike sales are not on a total downtrend. I would have to imagine that they did spike. There are probably a ton of people that are like, they've been pent up this whole time saving their money that are like, I'm hey, going what about FEV. Those are technically bikes. Who, who is this right now on the Benzinga account? Who are you? <laughs> I, yeah, I actually identify yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is using the Benzinga account. It might be F- Raz. FUV. We know we we love FUV. I I'm trying to get, hey FUV. If you're watching right now, you guys over at Archimoto, we're waiting for our test. FUV, we're waiting for it. I'm on the technical side. It looks like a lot of everything that else that we're looking at. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think this is one that can start running once we see some strength back in the EV market. Um, and it's a fun company. And Tis. friend of Benzinga. Well, they, they speak at our events. We've had um, uh, Mark, their CEO, on the Power Hour a couple times. He's a good guy. <sighs> Mark, mm-hmm. This is getting all weird. <laughs> This is probably Raz. It's probably I Raz think it's Mike. Mitch. I think it's Mitch. Oh, okay, okay. Is he is he an FUV FUV bull? I don't know. I'm just I, guessing I, Mitch. What up, Mitch? I, I like I like FUV at like twelve thirty three. Yeah, like, I, I wish that we had a stronger candle here. It this definitely person, looks like it's reversing. This person's talking about young investor bagged his entire follower. Hey, the kid's like thirteen. If you follow him into a stock. Can't can't put it on him after that. Get out of here with that negativity. <laughs> For the lobes. Um easy go. Oh, they make golf carts. Yeah, we just need EV to come back in favor. I mean, a lot of these are, are just moving with Tesla and like batteries and stuff. It's just not happening right now. It's not the time. Time may come again. It's just not now. No, that kid is amazing. Yeah, he's unreal. What were oh, you he, doing at? What were you doing at thirteen, Neil? Picking my nose and wiping them on girls, wiping the pokers <laughs> on girls. That's how you got your girlfriend that didn't like how you said bagel. Yeah, she was it like into boogers at the time. Yeah. Okay, this is weird. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So this guy's just talking. This guy's just talking auto trader here. <laughs> I talked this guy down to about a thousand bucks, man. Sheesh, the thing was like three thousand sticker price. I walked in there. <laughs> um, all right, let's look at Beyond. There's a nice um, dude. What, what did, who was saying Beyond is just a fake company and they hate them? Is that Samantha? I Samantha so. Ledoux. She's yeah, like, she said, she said we need to like vet them. We need to see if they're legitimate or not. She's like, and here's a company that is not legitimate. <laughs> I loved having her on though. She was great. I mean, guys. This company is only as strong as their brand. I mean, that's it. They've got their brand and their partnerships, I guess. I'm not, I'm not, this one, I don't really, I'm not interested in this. I gotta be honest. This is, we got the day. I don't care about that. Um, eyes. Come on, man. <laughs> What's going on with that? Dude, what is this company? Just, Oh, I want to look at Voozy too. Speaking of eyes. Speaking of eyes. Oh, of also, before Ooh, visual we... prosthetics. Okay. What's up? What's up? I was going to say before we wrap up, I have a little uh, cool video to play for our cannabis conference next week. If you are interested in cannabis, marijuana, CBD oil, all things related. Well, public... hold on. Let's play. Let's play two videos. Let's play two videos. So test get, test flight. Yeah, I want to get the test flight video in. Have you guys heard of? Give me a one if you guys know about Benzinga Pro test flight. Give me a two if you haven't heard of it. 
Do we? I don't have the file. I can get it loaded in real quick, but I don't know where it's at. Um, I'm just gonna pull it up on my thing. That's easy. Um, go to who is that? It was Michael? Hey, y'all, you guys don't know about test flight? That's weird. That's super weird. What you know? What else is weird? Less than half of you watching right now are subscribed to our channel. Make sure you do us a favor. It really helps. Hit the subscribe button and that like. It's a thumbs up. Um, I hate the thumbnail on this, dude. <laughs> Insane. Like, I'm offended that, like, why would you, like, I feel like they did this on purpose. You look like the kazoo kid. I don't know who that. I don't know that means. I'll show you the video another time. Um, all right, guys, this is going to be test flight here for you. Got a couple of videos to show you. Are you in a constant state of FOMO from missing massive gains in stocks and crypto? End that FOMO for good with Benzinga Pro. Benzinga Pro is trusted by thousands of traders every day as the best damn due diligence tool for stocks and cryptocurrencies. That means you get all of the actionable information you need to get ahead of major market moves, including Benzinga Pro's news desk creates original news content that's available on your main news feed and gives you actionable information about companies you may want to invest in. This news desk information gives you the chance to beat the market, receive impactful news as it breaks, and jump on trending stocks before and as they rise. And beyond that, Benzinga Pro is packed with helpful features and unique insights that give you the best information possible. There's tools like Live Audio Squawk, which streams every day with important news and timely updates and the real-time news alerts that allow you to stay on top of every developing story you're keeping tabs on. Alerts and news will be sent straight to your inbox or delivered as live sound alerts. But that's not all. Now you can try out Benzinga Pro for a full 30 days with the new Test Flight program for just $9.97. Is 9 dollars For 30 days. Is 9 dollars For 30 days. Test Get out of FOMO and into Benzinga Pro test flight today at pro.benzinga.com. Coupon code 30 days. I mean, it's a good deal. Now for the cannabis video. All right, roll it. Can you? Be there. Be there. <clears throat> Guys, definitely be there. Um, I think, um, yeah, yeah. We never really got to Voozy, but we do have Robert Roy coming on. Yeah. So, guys, stick around for Robert Roy. Um, amazing, amazing options trading, uh, uh, education, and live, live trading, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, thanks, Aaron, for being here with me today, dressing well for the occasion. Um, Guys, remember if you, it, I know that life gets busy. Um, uh, you got your jobs, you got your trading, all that kind of stuff. Reach out to your parents or your grandparents, your immediate family, your loved ones. Just let them know you're thinking about them. You will both be glad that you did. So just do that. Um, and hopefully, it, say if you're in the US and you're celebrating Memorial Day, you'll be able to see them in person. Um, so. This has been an episode of Get Technical, Special Friday Fun Day Edition. Um, the zoology um, uh, report was fantastic. I hope we get to do that again. Up next is Robert Roy. Anyways, thanks for watching Get Technical. Happy trading. Enjoy the long weekend, y'all. And smash that like. And subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, too. If that's thanks, not guys. too much to ask.